This video is brought to you by Sailrite. In this video, we're going to be showing how to make a sandbag out of fabric and then how to secure that sandbag using the Easy Lace Supreme system. Our boat cover is held in place with bags that are filled with sand. These are fabric tubes that we will fill with sand and then lace using the Easy Lace Supreme. We'll be using this umbrella marine grade fabric for our fabric tube and Duraskrim pattern material for our sandbag tube. And we've cut it to 30 inches by 20 inches. Size can be altered if you choose. We'll be creating a one inch hem using the uh, double sided tape for canvas here on the 20 inch side. Then we'll place the double sided tape on top of that single hem and then baste in place the Easy Lace Supreme right on top of it. The holes in the Easy Lace Supreme are approximately a quarter inch from the folded edge. Now we'll sew a straight stitch about uh, an eighth inch away from the folded edge of the Sunbrella fabric securing the Easy Lace in place. Reversing at the beginning as we did and here at the end. Now that same procedure will be repeated on the opposite 20 inch side. A single hem, double sided tape on top of that, and then Easy Lace Supreme sew into that side as well. Now flip the fabric tube so the outside surface is facing up. We'll place double sided tape along the long edge, doesn't matter which edge. We've cut the Easy Lace Supreme so that we don't cut into one of the hole sections. The hole is well in from the edge on both ends, as shown here. This strip of Easy Lace Supreme will be basted on the outer surface of our fabric tube and it will be basted so that it's upside down and the edge is flush with the edge of the fabric, as shown in the video. Now we'll place another strip of the basting tape on top of the Easy Lace Supreme very close to that raw edge, and then we'll fold the tube up and baste it in place, sandwiching the Easy Lace Supreme in between the layers of fabric. The tube is wrong side out, as it stands now. We'll then sew along that long edge securing the two layers of fabric and the Easy Lace Supreme in the center. We'll sew very close to the raw edge here first, then we'll make a second row of stitches a little bit further in, about a quarter inch away from that first stitch. Be sure that you do not sew uh, on top of the openings of the Easy Lace Supreme. and at the end reverse the uh, sewing machine to lock the stitch in place as customary. Here's what it looks like when it's done. Now all we need to do is turn the bag right side out. The nice thing about these fabric tubes is that the sandbag will be laced inside. So you can leave the tubes laced to your cover and then when you want to take the cover down all you need to do is release one of the ends of the tube, remove the sandbag and keep the tube laced in place on your cover. We'll be using the Duraskrim pattern material as a plastic tube which will be filled with the sand and then placed inside of our fabric tube. So Angela is creating a double fold here and we'll sew down the long end of this tube. The tube size should be approximately the same size as the fabric tube. So the fabric blank was cut to the same size. Then on one of the short edges, after we've sewn that one, we'll create a double fold there and sew a single row of straight stitches to secure that end. The other end, the other short end, will be left open so that we can fill it with sand. The length of each finished sandbag will determine how much sand to place in each one of these bags. To ensure that the Easy Lace holes do not rip, it is recommended to only add 8 pounds of sand per every foot of bag length. 
Since we installed the Easy Lay Supreme all around the perimeter of our cover, we can install these fabric uh, sandbag tubes anywhere to the cover. So Angela is now using an eighth inch leech line. This is a Dacron leech line available at Sayerite and lacing it through one of the small ends of the fabric tube. Then she'll go to the boat and start lacing it to the Easy Lace Supreme that's been sewn all around the perimeter of the boat. Notice the sand has not been placed in the bags. It's obviously much easier to uh, lace this to the boat without the sand being inserted in the tube. After it's laced in place, before we close up the other end, we will place the sand inside of the fabric tube. At the corners of the tube before the leech line runs down the short ends, it's a good idea to run the leech line through itself to create a locking loop. On one end of the fabric tube, at the bottom corner, Angela will create a knot. We'll now take one of the plastic sandbags that have been filled with sand and insert it through the open end of the fabric tube. Now all we need to do is lace this uh, short end to uh, secure the sand inside of the fabric tube. The beauty of using a system like this is now that the bag is laced in place, you can uh, simply remove the sand from the center of the bag, leaving the bag laced in its appropriate location for the next season. Tie a knot at the bottom to secure the sandbag inside the tube. The leech line was cut with scissors, so now we're going to use that Sayerite Edge Hot Knife to seal the ends to keep them from unraveling. This was a small portion of the Make Your Own Winter Boat Cover DVD that's available from Sailrite. Order yours today.